student welcome back to your science class i hope so that you are going through the videos very nicely again and again and trying to understand the chapter if you have any difficulty or any problem you can tell me other than that i also hope you have studied and read the chapter up till now so let's go through the let's start the science class and go through the chapter once again so we were studying the chapter parts of plant parts of plant till now we have studied that the plants plant have two parts shoot and root the root are of two types tap root and fibrous root tap root means carrot mango tulsi and rose are the example of tap roots and fibrous root onion garlic rice wheat are the example of fibrous root function of roots were to collect the minerals from and water from the soil or absorb them to fix the plant in the soil and some roots get prepare uh, store the extra food prepared by the plants and the example were carrot radish beetroot sweet potato etc now then we also studied about the shoot the shoot is the main above part the part which is above the soil so what are the parts that are in the shoot the stem branches leaves bud flower and fruits the stems are of different type trees which have thick stem they are called the stem is called trunk these trees the example were mango neem and banyan then there were climbers that need support to grow that uh, for example money plant then these were creepers they were creepers also like pumpkin and watermelon the function of stem is to provide the support of the to the plant to transport water and mineral from the root to leaves and then to distribute the food prepared by the leaves in different parts of the plant then it also uh, fruits and uh, buds and flowers grow on the branches that comes from stem only then some plants like uh, plants like potato ginger and sugarcane are stem and why these are stems because the extra food prepared by the plant are stored over there and these become more nutritious and we can eat them then we studied about the leaves we studied about the leaves now the leaves were the beautiful parts of the plants why these are the beautiful parts and helpful in plants it cover the plant the stem like an umbrella or in a shape it helps the plant to cover it in like an umbrella or it covers and protect them like a shape or a crown the trunk and the stem so leaves are the important part there are very different different kinds of leaves some plants do not have flowers but they have leaves almost every plant have leaves and these leaves grow into different different shapes and provide beauty to the plant now the we have studied about the different parts you know why green leaves are green remember the chlorophyll chlorophyll is a color due to which the green leaves are green the chlorophyll is uh, prepared in the plants in the presence of sunlight with the process of photosynthesis and this help the plant to grow the leaves into green color now following were the leaves part leaf base which connects the plant with the branch okay attach it with the stem then leaf stake yes or no leaf stake is the part which joins the lamina to the leaf base lamina is the flat thin green part of the leaf now a main vein go through the middle of the lamina i have send you a picture of the plant the parts of the leaves na, in that you remember there were the main veins and side veins the main wave in the mid of the plant, uh, leaf that is lamina what it is called midrib now functions of leaf now we will study functions of leaf a green leaf makes food for the plants with the help of air water and sunlight and chlorophyll so a leaf is called the kitchen what is leaf called kitchen of food factory of a plant you have a kitchen at your home where you get food and different different food factories are there from where different food is prepared and come to your house similarly the leaf is the kitchen or the food factory of the plant air and water vapor go in and out of the leaves thus leaves help the plant to breathe now leaves have small small pores we cannot see them through normal eyes but when we use some special equipment 
सम स्पेशल काइंड ऑफ मशीन टू सीट तो हमें दिखेगा जब हमें माइक्रोस्कोप या इस तरह का कोई स्पेशल इक्विपमेंट यूज करेंगे तो तो लीव्स ऑफ स्मॉल स्मॉल होल्स विच हेल्प द प्लांट टू ब्रीथ इन सम प्लांट्स लीव स्टोर फूड सम प्लांट्स लाइक सम प्लांट्स रूट स्टोर फूड सम प्लांट्स स्टेम स्टोर फूड सिमिलरली सम प्लांट्स लीव स्टोर फूड वी ईट दीज लीव दीज लीव्स आर ईटन बाय एस एज ग्रीन वेजिटेबल फॉर एग्जाम्पल स्पिनेच पालक कैबेज पत्ता गोभी लेटस यू नो लेटस द सैलड दैट इज द लीव दैट आई यूज फॉर सैलड एंड ऑल मिंट पुदीना कोरियडर धनिया दीज आर द थिंग्स नाउ डेज मामा मज भी प्रिपेयरिंग ना मिंट चटनी एंड कोरियडर चटनी एंड ऑल येस ऑन नो सो दीज आर द थिंग्स दैट आर दी प्लांट्स लीव वेल एक्स्ट्रा फूड इज स्टोर्ड एंड दीज थिंग्स दीज पार्ट्स आर यूज टू ईट ना सो प्लांट्स हैव डिफरेंट डिफरेंट पार्ट्स दे हैव डिफरेंट डिफरेंट फंक्शन वन ऑफ द पार्ट इज लीव एंड द फंक्शन ऑफ लीव इज टू प्रिपेयर द फूड फॉर द प्लांट एंड वेन द एक्स्ट्रा फूड इज देयर इट इज स्टोर्ड इन द प्लांट्स लाइक स्पिनेच कैबेज मिंट कोरियडर विच वी यूज टू विच वी विच आर यूज टू ईट बाय अस ना लेट सी अबाउट द फ्लावर्स द अनदर पार्ट एंड द मोस्ट ब्यूटिफुल पार्ट ऑफ द प्लांट इज फ्लावर्स Let us go for an amazing fact, which is there in the corner. There are over two lakh identified plant species, and the list is growing all the time. Now, you know the world is full of different different plants, yes or no? And the world is full of different different kinds of trees and plants. So till today, till date, when this book was printed, till that date, two lakh different kinds of plant species. and the list is growing that means till that day 2 lakh types of plants have been identified that different different 2 lakh types of plants are there but the list is not stopped over here it is keep on growing why it is keep on growing because we are identifying daily new new types of plants now let's see about the flowers what about the flowers stem be a flowers now you know stem be a branches leaves similarly stem have the flowers flowers are colorful and pretty you know flowers are very beautiful and pretty they make the plant look beautiful what is the need of the plant uh, flowers they make them be- look beautiful and they usually give out a sweet smell they give a very nice smell what it is this smell is for most of the plants help give this smell and these plants are used to make perfumes and all other than that these plants are used for decoration yes or no then what else these plants are used for these flowers of the plants these are used for worship these are used for making different these flowers are taken and then used for making different different things even some of the flowers are used for eating also like rose the petals are dried and a sweet sub- substance called gulkand is made from them then another thing rose water that is gulab jal is made from them so these are the flowers used for different purpose you know the colors that you play in holi herbal colors that are made from the flowers only now the different kinds of flowers are water lily yes or no lotus hibiscus rose jasmine these are the different kinds of flowers you know flowers give a nice smell and they have some particular part or a pollination you know what is pollination the bees collect the pollens from the pl- uh, flowers inside the flowers there are small small dust particles these are kinds of pollen it collects from them and then honey is made so basically from where the honey comes bees made it and from where bees made it bees made it with the help of the juice or with the help of pollen or with the help of different things from the flowers only they take it from the flowers and then they make uh, honey now next function of flowers flowers function flowers turn into fruits yes most of the time the flowers are the only things which grow first and then they turn into fruit like what are they different like if you pomegranate anar then brinjal beggan these all are the simple thing banana even you have seen in banana flower it is a very big and beautiful flower and later on lots of bananas are grown into that so 
fruits bear a seeds now you all know fruits bear seed then seeds grow into a new plant thus flower helps in reproduction you remember living and non living living things can reproduce so how plants reproduce with the help of the flowers turning into fruit and those fruits have seeds with the help of those seeds new plant are grown then flowers give off a nice smell they give us nice smell so flowers are used to decorate our house and garden now you remember on the birthday of brother you all bring beautiful flowers yes or no or on teachers day you bring beautiful flowers on your parents birthday you give beautiful flowers to them you bring beautiful flowers for different different occasion you make bouquets for what to show your love for the other person and why you give flowers because flowers are beautiful and they give very beautiful smell so it is nice to give someone yes or no and it look very pretty they are used for decoration also can you see your garden must be having some plants which are giving beautiful flowers yes or no only green green plants which do not look beautiful do you would like to pl- uh, put them no you want some flowers also so flowers are used for decoration our house and garden also we eat some flowers yes some flowers as vegetables are eaten also now cauliflower cauliflower means gobi it is a kind of that white color one it is called it is a flower and we eat it then broccoli it is the green cauliflower that we call broccoli it is it looks like a uh, cauliflower only but it is green in color so what it is it is also a vegetable we eat it so flowers of some plants are used as vegetables also in the next class we will study about the fruit the seeds and how the new plants grow with the help of germination till then you go through this chapter again we see what we have studied about the leaves the function of the leaves the leaves are the kitchen of the plant or the food factory it gives the food to the whole plant the water sun and air sunlight chlorophyll is used to prepare the food for the tree it also helps the plant to breathe then leaves of some plant store the extra food we eat these leaves like spinach cabbage lettuce mint and coriander now flowers flowers are very beautiful they are they helps the plants to look beautiful and pretty flowers are colorful flowers like uh, give grows in different different places like water lily hibiscus then rose jasmine these have smells also be- good fragrance and are very beautiful to look at now what are the function of the flowers the first function is that pl- uh, flowers give us very nice smell so we uh, they are used to decorate the house and garden and are also used for gifting purpose second the flowers turn into fruits flowers turn into fruits and they be a seed the seed helps to grow a new plant so flowers are also helpful in reproduction then some plant uh, flowers is to uh, turn as a vegetable and are used for eating like cauliflower and broccoli so you will go through this chapter go through the explanation and we will see you in the next class till then take care bye children